A funeral service was held earlier in the afternoon in Burnsville for two of the victims. They were both members of this mosque just across the street from where the fire happened. Windows on the 14th floor of this high rise in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood are now boarded up. The fire killed five people. We know four of their names. The victims include three women and one man, ranging in age from 59 to 78. We're all shocked by the tragic death that happened yesterday to all the victims. Abdi Salam Adam, a board member of the Islamic Civic Society of America, says three of the victims were members of the Dar el Hijra Mosque. 78-year-old Amatala Adam was a longtime volunteer. Uh, we remember her as one of the regulars who would be there all the time, who would clean up you know, if anything needs to be done. Um, who would be the first to arrive and uh, open the door and just be there to welcome people. The nonprofit People Center has created an emergency fund to help those affected by the fire. They've already raised more than $50,000. As a community, we really want to rally. I want to reassure and, you know, a lot of grief and trauma and, and support. And so that's what we'll be doing the next few days. And also educating the community about um, how to uh, react when tragedies occur. There's a community meeting planned for Friday afternoon at 1.30 at the Brian Coyle Community Center. They plan on discussing next steps for helping those affected by the fire. In Minneapolis, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News.